So guess what? <laughs> oh, did you see me? What's all this? Somebody audition, or they going to audition. <laughs> Those who know me, y'all know I got a little bit of rhythm, but I can't really dance for real. It's a slow dance and slow whining. On two feet, standing up, y'all. No, on the dance floor. No, nothing in that freaky diggy. But shit, we got some freaky diggy coming up, though. Oh, we got some freaky diggy coming up. Shit, somebody about to get the cobwebs knocked off. His Johnson is going to be lubed all night long. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But then, you know, y'all saw that little dance I did. <laughs> You're my angel. What was that? Sprung. And she was dancing right there in the doorway or some shit, y'all. No judgment, okay? Fuck all that shit. All our emotions getting back intact, goddammit, in a loving way. We got to acknowledge and accept our, 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 our beauty. Women, divine feminine, the best blessing of your life is that inner beauty. Hey, bruh, you need to say to you, you sexy too. And listen careful to what you say to yourself and how you talk to yourself and how you think about yourself. Forgive yourself. The reality of it, of it all is that, you know, they ain't show up, but you showed up. Fuck it. Still be a boss out here in these motherfucking parts. Smile, laugh, dream, kick it. Right now in this moment, treat them like a prostitute. That's what the Jesus said. Treat them like it's a difficult, difficult difficult, difficult, no judgment though, because somebody judging a motherfucker present day. And it's about, you know, they can dance, they ass all. You know what I'm saying? They can dance, they ass all. They showed up and showed out. But it's the way that this person is being treated because they think because they, you know, could be a part of, you know, this industry and it's a provocative dance that they do, you know, they presence matter. That's not the energy they behold. Some nigga butt hurt. He feel personal about a stripper. It's a woman who, you know, who needs to let go her ego too and move the fuck on. Okay, he left you for a fucking stripper. Where your personal wisdom at? Where was your antennas? This is what the G's is saying. Yeah. What was your antennas? Is what they said is what you should have did and what you could have did. What they wouldn't do and what they, you know, probably, you know, didn't give a fuck about doing is what the Jesus is saying. It's like, damn. Just because you was on back page, that's, you know, the place that they worked at or something, you know? Mm. So, somebody, a belly dancer, too. Somebody, a belly dancer. Yeah, I used to like to watch the uh, belly dancer um, competitions, y'all. Because those women can dance their tails off. You hear me? Somebody, a belly dancer. It's all about the navel. It's all about that solar plexus. God dang it. What you, what somebody was working out. They was working out. They took their Wheaties too. They took their Wheaties. That's what the Jesus said. I heard Petey, Petey Wheat Straw, y'all. The devil's son-in-law. 
Ooh. That's what I heard. Petey Wheatstraw. The devil's son-in-law. Y'all remember that 70s movie? I'm a 70s baby. ESG's 1976. What the year you were born in the comments? Y'all rock with me. Y'all get this free spiritual game. Y'all don't say shit to me. You hear me? Y'all give me some thumbs up, though. Thank you for being here. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you for commenting. You know, I got a few loyal commenters. You know, some of y'all didn't fell off. Some of y'all butt hurt, too. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's about the energy that is presented to you. Somebody came in a divine energy, regardless of where they work at or where they live. They stepped to you and introduced you. They didn't come with no fucking karmic energy. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't masquerading. They weren't. Nope. This is something new, too. You know? This is something new for them. They, they're they not a trollop, a huzzy, or a slut. But it's someone that you're dealing with who's a, who, you know, strip teases, who could be a burlesque dancer, you know, who could just be topless or, you know, something like that. Somebody could work in a in a nude bar, you know. I'm here, you know. It is the adult, and it is is the adult night life uh, that somebody feels influences this woman in a in a trashy way, right? You know, this an older woman too. I can't think of that movie. It ain't Players Club, and she don't even work at like no Players Club. It ain't bullet wounds and booty juice. Mm Mm-mm. Nope. But you can say it's like, you know, how a dude treated uh, Lisa Wright when she was just trying to get fitted for her cap and gown. Yeah. This woman trying to pay her way for something, you know? And it's personal. And she can dance. Somebody major in dancing. Or they can minor in dancing. And, you know, family is against it. Family is against this woman. She spruces herself up when she's going to work, right? Somebody telling her she painting her face, you know, emotionally abusing her, talking about her, and she does her own makeup. She could be an esthetician. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness. So let's see where this is going, because the Gigi said this for you, baby. You dance better than me. You want to teach me? You want to teach me? Because sure, girl, I, can, I ain't stiff. You know, I just, I probably got to do some calisthenics. Went somewhere. I heard Kalahari. Y'all go to Kalahari? Y'all be going to Sandusky? Y'all be coming to Ohio? Look, y'all be coming to Ohio. What strip spot out there? Escort service, too. Somebody got a cabin. Somebody got a cabin. Somebody going to the cabins could be going, um, yeah, it's a, it's a hideaway. But, you know, this hideaway, it's like, it's set up like a strip club. You got a bar. You got your seating area. It's called girls. It's men and women. You know what I'm saying? At this place. Working. They working. They working, so somebody feels as though they focus on the wrong shit. They, you know, they're not amused by this stripper. You know, they're not amused by something when it comes to this stripper. But this this woman has a different focus. It's all about her right now. She don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. She's trying to get to this bag for a certain reason. She got a client, too. She got a main client. Yeah, look, she dancing for a reason. She working towards a dream. She goal-oriented, goddammit. She got this male, though, I'm hearing. He a gigolo. This man, you know, he he ain't got the gift of gab like her. You know, she really showing him the ropes for real. He think he a game guy. He got a little bit of money. But they got two different... Focal games, too. You know, they got two different visions. You hear me? Look, two different visions. He he conning, and she just trying to work towards her dream. She's saving her money. 
Somebody wants her to escort them somewhere. It's like this person's vision too, girl. They can wear glasses, but yeah, they can always squint too. Always looking like this. Somebody always looking like just the look that they have on their face, you know? It's something that's unexpected that's going to happen. Because, you know, you whoever this woman is, she got a routine, too. You know what I'm saying? She has a dance routine. She could be a choreographer. So, live in living color. Live in living color. It's a whole routine and a thing, right? She makes this dance. It's, it's exquisite is what I'm hearing. It's full. She could be full. She could be full. So, outside of, you know, this dancing, it's some recertifications or something. She could be re-entering, um, school or different job force or job force program. Unexpected, right? Whoever this woman is, she been plotting and scheming to go, but she didn't kept it on the low. What's at the bottom? Yep, she didn't kept it on the low. Yeah, she didn't kept a lot on the low. She's trying to keep her, you know, and all this dancing, you know, some like calisthenics too, you know, it's, it's a great healthy routine that she's committed to as well, you know. So, this keep popping up. Somebody a stargazer. Somebody a stargazer. Somebody a follower too. Somebody a follower. Somebody's losing weight. Somebody can be being chauffeured or, you know, back and forth to this this hideaway where they dance or to this John. Um, somebody's last name can be Johnson. But somebody thinks with their Johnson, right? Their Johnson has brought them a lot of money. Somebody thinks with their pity pat. Their pity pat has brought them a lot of money. It's a game god in the room, god damn it. It ain't all about you for real. Somebody trying to coach you. You know, coach you along this this route, but it's a different dream that you have too. You probably you know was trying to get in there and get out, and you feel like you done made your money, or it's not for you. I just heard with a nigga like shotgun. How the fuck you gonna think you gonna last, nigga? <laughs> Somebody's car though. Is this your car, queen? What is you getting ready for now? It can't be no payback, right? The big payback. Is that what you plotting and scheming on? Because it ain't funny is what the G's are saying. This is the type of drama that you don't need. This is most definitely the type of drama that you don't need. Who is this nigga you dealing with? Because they're karmic. They are. They're karmic. And it's something that was going on, you know, outside of them using your car and going to pick up Sally, Jesse Sue, and Melly Mae, and who have, and, and, and Queen B. They Queen B. They, it's something that should be stinging you. I'm talking about piercing your conscience. For real. Because what they trying to hand out and with this skin problem that you could be experiencing is from dirty money and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Dirty money. Take that how it resonates is what I just heard too. It's dirty money. This week, baby, what went on, right? 
Did you know about this side piece? They said turn it back over. Did you know about this side piece? Oh, and the plot thickens is what the Jesus is saying. And the plot thickens. So let's see. Because somebody is counting calories. They counting. They counting your pockets. They've been counting them dollars that's been stuffed too. But you need you a different type of bag. You need you a different type of bag. You know what I mean? Because what's what you need to recognize, analyze, and realize right now is the emotional embarrassment that you keep into yourself is what the Jesus said. It ain't funny, right? <laughs> 